guys, Gear here for Vitesnik Power Sports in Richland Center, Wisconsin, your Tractor Marine headquarters. Um, right behind me here, I have the new 2019 Regency 250 DL3. Uh, this boat is made by White River Marine Group. Also uh, used to be known as Tracker Marine. On this boat, we have the new Mercury 250 Verado. It's a 4.6 liter V8. It's a new engine for this year. <clears throat> you can also see uh, the uh, rear pod here. Uh, it's hiding a 52 gallon fuel tank centered right up the boat. Um, this is a new shroud they're putting on them this year. Make them look really nice and clean. Um, this is a black uh, metallic powder coat. Regency powder coats their uh, pontoons. Um, so the pontoons and the rails uh, are are baked. You're looking at a black metallic, which outside will really show a nice flake. Um, this is the new indigo blue. It's a new color for 2019. <clears throat> Take a peek at their uh, at their boarding ladder here. Um, they they add an extra deep um, rung to it here make it very easy for uh, younger kids and, and elderly folks to easily reboard this boat. That's always a, a problem when you're out floating around. It's getting back on the boat and they do a good job at, at uh, taking care of that. Um, some constructural stuff and some specs on the Regency. Um, this is a 26 inch log. There's three of them and then there's four lift strakes. Um, two off the center and one off at each outside uh, log and um, That's just going to help with the performance of, of this boat and handling. We'll get it right up out of the water and um, and uh, Really lays it over nice when you're you know doing some water sports um, Trying to turn around for a down skier. Uh, this boat will lay right over. It'll feel it feel like you're in a You know in a runabout uh, with this with this design um, as you can see, it's not on a trailer, um, but that's something I want to briefly touch on. Um, Regency designs, manufactures their own trailers. They're galvanized. They're custom fit to each boat. This boat will have a custom trailer underneath it. Uh, bunk style, of course, with guides. Um, big, uh, big radial tires and uh, self-balancing beads in the tires. Uh, I go in depth more on the trailer construction and quality in my 210 Regency video. Um, so you could just click over to that after this video and you can learn more about the, the Galva Shield uh, trailer that Regency produces. Um, also, instead of trying to get underneath this boat right here and show you the Z-Bar construction and how they, they lay this deck together, you can also refer to the, the video of the Regency 210 and I get a little more in-depth um, explanation of how they fasten their uh, deck down to the uh, Z bar and then to the pontoons. Um, we'll head around um, to the interior of the boat and uh, check check out the new design for 2019. All right guys, so lots of new stuff in the 19 this year. I have you come aboard and, and I'll point out a few uh, a few things. We'll start at the front of the boat here. We um, have new uh, stainless hardware here for the, the boat latch or for the door latch. And while you're up front, you can see the new flush, uh, flush mount of cleats and the new um, LED lights there with side markers. That's all new for 2019. You'll notice when we swing this open, it's magnetic. It'll hold it open. Uh, all the doors have that feature. Pop on in here and uh, I'll show you some features in this front lounge area. Uh, comes with uh, a set of these uh, removable cup holders and this boat features the Stowmore um, storage system that uh, Regency and Sun Tracker um, you know kind of patented. Um, we have 50% more storage now because we can put stuff in the seat backs. Uh, they call that Stowmore. It's a really cool design. These uh, actually hold themselves open on the Regencies. You just gotta press the spring there to drop them. Something else new for 19 is that the seats open um, the opposite of how they did in 18. Um, 
with that you can fit you know more I would say more items and bigger items into the compartment um, because the way they open prior you couldn't get the seat all the way open um, so this is a better design you can see that everything's roto molded and guttered keep everything dry inside this is an example of their lockable storage compartment. Stainless latches, really nice. Um, same thing here without the lockable. So there's an example of both. And then that's just an example of how that will remove and just fastens underneath and, and shut it in there wherever you'd like it. Um, in store uh, in in, in uh, floor storage here, I believe it's 88 inches long. Um, you'll see in there the ski toe pylon that's coming uh, standard on this thing, and I'll show you how that uh, threads into the floor when we get to the uh, back of the boat. You see, we got the sea grass in here, nice matte flooring, very comfortable and looks nice. We got uh, two table locations, one in the aft, one here up at the front, um, and one table is standard on this boat. This uh, this area here, the driver's council and seat is all redesigned. Of course, you got a raised helm. This is a new council. Uh, they got rid of that windshield that would eventually fade or scratch, and uh, they integrated um, the windbreak right into the council. The, the, the captain's seat is a little bit bigger, a little more plush. Um, you got electric uh, over hydraulic steering, tilt steering, digital controls. The, uh, this has a, a digital throttle to run that uh, Mercury Verado. You got smart craft gauges and you have a, a, a hook series, a hook seven series uh, Lawrence from the factory installed flush. Um, move to the aft of the uh, the vessel. <clears throat> Check this out. This is what I'm most excited about: the new switchback lounge. Um, so this uh, backrest, of course, pivots, and when you're socializing with with your family and friends, you use it this way. And uh, when you're uh, wanting to relax off the back side of it. Just switch it back and kick your feet up. Uh, you can fit two or three people and you have a, a head unit over here too to control the tunes with a couple cup holders. Um, it's a pretty sweet setup and a phone charger. While we're back here, I want to show you how this quick lift bimini system works. Um, it's something that only Regency is doing to my uh, knowledge. Integrated in this uh, channel here is uh, basically a piston that's going to assist this bimini in going up um, from the toe position, which it's in now. Uh, so it's a one-man job or a one-woman job. Just grab this thing and and push it up like so. Lock in those, and then you're just going to unzip the mooring cover and and push the 11-foot color match bimini open. It's a pretty uh, pretty hot setup. The, uh, this corner of the, the, the boat is um, kind of new too. We have the bumper storage here, the fender storage, and a new door design here, uh, kind of a narrower aisle with a smaller door uh, with the magnet to hold it open just for you know, reboarding the, the boat, I, I would assume, you know, at the sandbar kind of thing. Um, don't know if I mentioned prior, but um, 52 gallons of fuel right up the middle balances this boat out nice and here's the location for your um, ski toe pylon that's just a uh, blank in there now you can thread that out and then plug your plug your big chunk of aluminum in there to do water sports um, it's a pretty slick setup and very easy to do a um, couple things on the Regency um, that you may want to know the deck length is 25 one and a half inches long but if you're measuring to the transom, to the motor mount, 27.5. Storage length is like 35.5. It's got an 8 foot 6 inch beam. Those are some dimensions you're going to want to know to see if this thing will fit in your garage. Um, 10 plus life warranty. 
You've got a 10 year bow to stern, lifetime on the structure. It's the best warranty in the world. You now can put 14 people in this vessel. That is up, I think, two maybe from, from last year. Um, so it's got a 14 person capacity, which everybody was asking for, and now they've got it. Um, hmm. Oh, come back here. One, uh, one more thing. A lot of people want to know, is there a changing room? Where is it at? And how easy is it to access? So this does have a newly designed changing room right here um, in the aft uh, rear face lounge. I don't have the curtain on it yet, but this hoop here will come up to here and open up over top of you, and this is going to be your changing room. So I think that's... Uh, all I have for the new 2019 250 uh, DL3. We are located in uh, Richland Center, Wisconsin, right between Madison and La Crosse on Highway 14. Give us a call, hop on our website, and subscribe to our page, and see what all we have here in the new showroom. And uh, my name is Garrett. Give me a shout or, or talk to any of the knowledgeable sales staff we have here. Uh, the number's going to be down at the bottom of the, the video here. Um, thanks for watching.